New Malta Viewer Magic from Ensemble Designs. Stunning detail and simple setup. Easy, click to fill configuration from your Mac, PC, or iPad. The new Avenue Malta Viewer from Ensemble Designs. Hi, I'm Phil Kurz with Broadcast Engineering, and I'm joined today by Mike Romy. Uh, Mike is the director of Pipeline for Zoic Studios. Thanks for joining me, Mike. Thank you. Thank uh, you very much. So, Mike, yesterday I was at the Autodesk Press yeah. Conference, yeah. and uh, they made the comment that the people in your business <laughs> are feeling the squeeze from the studios sure. in terms of keeping margins down, sure. uh, being cost effective, and, yeah. and, and getting the most for their money. Also getting the best quality and, out of the, their money as well. Exactly. So. Uh, th that has to create some big challenges oh, yeah. for, for a company like yours. Uh, and and so Mike, tell me about that a little bit. So we've been doing a lot of television work for a number of years. We've been started with Buffy and ended up in doing Battlestar Galactica, CSI, right. uh, True Blood, Falling Skies, Once Upon a Time. And all these shows, each year over year, they get bigger and bigger with more shots to deliver in shorter periods of time. Mm -hmm. So you know, we put a, a heavy focus on our pipeline, trying to build tools in our pipeline that allow us to be more efficient and more competitive in that market mm -hmm. and to offer our clients a better product um, for their services. And we've seen the year after year, those shows, the shot counts grow. So, you know, maybe five years ago, we might have had shows that were, you know, 30 and 50 shot shows. Right. Now we're dealing with shows that are 350 shot shows and they're turning over in two and a half weeks. It's like a feature film every two and a half weeks, right. basically. Yeah, that's remarkable. So, uh, so the pipeline is very important. To it, is, it is extremely important. We also have a lot of turnover. So episodic production is very cyclical. So we have downtime down during, you know, before it's fall, summertime, pilot seasons, and then back up. It's been a little less so with cable networks, but um, you know, our objective is to try to find a way to get artists into our workflow mm -hmm. to be able to be the most effective artists they can. So that means building pipeline tools that allow them to be more efficient at animating or be more efficient at doing dynamics or fur or rendering and lighting. So we're, all, we're constantly looking for the edge. Sure, and what are some of the tools that your animators are using? So we use Maya um, and then we use rendering tools like V-Ray. Um, but a lot of our tools that we've built are very custom. We've mm -hmm. written a lot of it um, proprietary tools, but we built that off of things off the shelf like Python and we also use something called um, PySight, which is basically a QT derivative for interfaces with Python. And we build all these custom tools and we build a bunch of libraries and tools that are TDs, these are our technical directors, can click, quickly pick up and build very sophisticated interfaces to kind of accomplish things like, I don't know, like animation pose storing of data or uh, things like that. And then we also use something like called Shotgun. And it's like an asset tracking database that's web-based. So what we do is we build these animation tools so our artists can animate, store things into the shotgun, and then that shotgun database is shared between both of our locations in LA and Vancouver. They don't have to worry about transferring material between both locations. It kind of mm -hmm. does it on its own. Sure, making it even more efficient, obviously. Yeah, right. exactly. Right. Um, so you were just involved with uh, a major overhaul or, or, or creation of a new pipeline approach, isn't it? Uh, well, we're always, you're, you're always, <laughs> we're are, always redoing okay. our pipeline, but okay. um, more specifically, you know, in the last few years, we've been doing a lot of virtual production. Right. And we started with a show called V that was very virtual production driven, and now we're doing a show called Once Upon a Time. And it's, it's, it's all about them shooting six and seven days on a green screen set, and then part of the show is actually on location. So there's, they're going through pages and pages of the, uh, the story in one day. We'll, you know, we'll go through you know, lots of pages of, of, of script. And so we have more and more takes that are coming from our production. That means more shots that we have to do production on. Right. And so that pipeline we basically have evolved called Zeus, and it stands for Zoic Environmental Unification System. And it's a process by which we kind of go on to, onto set with the production, and we basically give them an on-set on -set temp comp of what the virtual set would look like. Mm -hmm. We give them an iPad app, we build an iPad app of the virtual location for the directors to annotate, here's right. where I'm standing here, here's where I want them to be there. Um, and then while the camera's moving around, they actually see what the final product would look like. The value is, is that the studios, they want to get a better product. Right. This gives them something to edit to that represents the final comp long before we do the finishing comp. Sure, sure, yeah. And then, I guess finally, what do you see as some of the challenges that you're going to be facing on the horizon sure. as far as productivity, pipeline, and I, I think shots? it's I think it's clearly rendering. I, I think at the end of the day, you know, we need to find GPU-based renders 
that excel and speed up the process by which we're able to turn over the shots final. Mm -hmm. Things of interest that you know excite us are things like V-Ray, and V-Ray has this um, GPU render engine. Some of the things that NVIDIA is doing with some of their new NVIDIA graphics cards mm -hmm. and AMD, they're all doing some very exciting things with graphics cards. Mm -hmm. So I think one of the things that we're challenged with is, is how do I turn over these shots and iterate and show the clients versions of animations, versions of fluids, versions of hair and fire and brimstone and, and aliens quicker, faster, so they can get a better idea what it looks like to the point where one day you want to be able to final a shot on set. I don't know that we're there yet, but I think a lot of this technology leads us to those avenues. Well, Mike, thanks for taking out a few minutes at any to come talk to me. Yeah, take care. Thank you.